All right, we saw an incredible final drive. It was a 13-play drive, and I figured, you know what? Why not just make a video talking about every play that happened? Let's break down the entire final drive, starting off with, a, you know, not all these plays are going to be huge plays, but they do kind of tell the context of what happened. Watch how when this play begins, you see Mahomes is going to hand the football off, just a few yard run, which will bring us to the next play. So, okay, now we have a second down and eight. Again, only two yards. Uh, well, well, again, it says two yards, but it looks like they got a little bit more than maybe three. But regardless, uh, now it's zone coverage that the 49ers are running. And so the Chiefs are going to try and counter that by just hitting Rasheed Rice underneath. As you see, Mahomes takes the snap, he goes, he looks towards Rice, and Rice is open. Again, they're kind of giving that up, which, you know, okay, give that up, run up and make a tackle. You see Mahomes is going to hit Rice, who does, uh, you know, get close to the first down marker, is a yard shy at this point, so that's where you're currently at. But, okay, second down, or excuse me, third down and one, and you have two tries to do it. You feel pretty good. Well, what are they going to do on the first one? They're going to run the ball here, which is potentially a question mark, potentially uh, something maybe not everyone would recommend here. But this is what the Chiefs have done all year. The Chiefs actually run a lot on these third and one, fourth and one situations. You see that Mahomes is going to hand the football off and it does not work out. They are not able to get the first down. And now it is about as dangerous of a situation as it gets. The season is over if you do not convert here on a fourth down and one. You need to, again, situation you're down three points in overtime uh you know if you don't score here that's it that's sudden death you lose so on to fourth and one you know uh Romo brought it up on a broadcast when I made my Mahomes video I, I talked about this play and I, I mentioned that as well and it's just true I mean you see that Bosa is going to be on the edge here he fell for this already we're uh, hand the ball off to the running back and then Mahomes keeps it himself uh, on the big Mahomes run uh he fell for it right here on fourth and one you gotta just play Mahomes you just do but as you see, he cuts in. Mahomes goes towards the outside. Uh, looks like there was a passing option, but once Mahomes saw that he could run, always safer to run, no chance of a drop pass or anything like that, picks up the first down and is able to keep the Super Bowl alive. They are definitely maybe the play of the game at that point. And then immediately after, things got very stupid. Uh, this was a very funny play. So uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantling running around against zone coverage. Again, similar to the Rasheed Rice one. Just trying to move the ball down the field. Zone coverage. Well, Mahomes does what he should do. Takes a low snap, but you know, gets the ball over. And at this point, you're thinking, all right, cool. We gained like six yards or so. Things are moving smoothly. Well, watch how when uh, Rashev, you know, MVS gets out of that tackle, but then runs backwards, they end up losing three yards instead of gaining six on that play, which is, it's one of those weird things where like, well, what are you really supposed to do? Like, you don't want to, you know, have yourself get tackled, but if you got tackled, forward progress would have been stopped. So it's just one of those unfortunate situations. So second and 14, this was the Niners' other real big chance to get off the field. And I'm, not, I'm just going to pause it. I don't have to break anything down because Romo put it on the screen for me where you see those five players deep. They're showing cover zero. That's what the 49ers are showing here. And, and this was something that definitely in hindsight, you look at and say, that was a mistake. Because watch how on this one, Mahomes, he, you know, he does the right thing. Just quickly flips it to MVS, who this time runs forward, and, you know, gets some of it back. He's not wor worried about getting it all back because, again, it's second down, but you know you have an extra down to work with as well. So that would bring us to a third down and six situation, which still, you don't want a fourth down if you can avoid it. And again, uh, you know, pausing it right here, they're showing all-out blitz once again. So what is Mahomes going to do? Mahomes takes a snap, just back a little bit once he sees that it is indeed all, an all-out blitz. They hit Rice, who it's a great route against this coverage. He is open. And again, with the addition of an extra down, you know you would go for it on fourth. Even if there's a great tackle and you're tackled a yard or two short of the first down marker, you're still okay. However, Rice, you know, uh, you know, no great tackle there. Rice is able to accelerate, gets out of bounds. They're able to get, you know, towards the outside of field goal range. And let's be honest, for Harrison Bucker, 57-yarder, you feel like you know, it's a guaranteed make almost at that point. So now the pressure is off a little bit. So going over to this play, you might think, oh, well, okay, you know, Niners are back in zone coverage. Let's keep dinking and dunking. Uh, you know, yes, you want a touchdown, but you also want to make sure you at least kick a field goal. Well, the Chiefs have other ideas. Mahomes takes the snap, runs a play act, kind of a, a half-hearted play action, and eventually is going to get to the point where it looks like he wants to throw the ball down the field. It looks like that was the design, but didn't love what he saw, and now there's pressure in his face. And this is part of what the Mahomes magic is. 
Because watch him wall under pressure, just flip the ball to Pacheco and gain some yards. Nothing crazy to gain like, you know, a three yards or so. Uh, it's actually considered uh, ruled four yards. But, you know, again, you're moving the ball down to field. And I think some quarterbacks could have been sacked right there. So just good awareness of understanding pressure, understanding to not throw the ball down to field and take a needless chance, which could have cost them the Super Bowl and still gain four yards. So then second down and six, the, you know, uh, Niners who are trying everything at this point, they're going to go to a man coverage concept. And so for the Chiefs, they're actually, again, uh, being a little bit uh, clever here. You see Mahomes is going to take the snap, and he's going to flip the ball to Pacheco. They're going with a screen pass right here, and it's a good play. But look at Fred Warner, the closest unblocked player. He's the other guy I've circled in black towards the left of the screen. Watch him run in quickly, and he's going to make an amazing tackle to stop Pacheco short and create another third down and one. So this is the other, kind of the last real shot the 49ers had to get a stop here. You know, they had the, obviously, the fourth and one. They had the uh, third and, uh, you know, medium situation. Now a third down and one, which isn't ideal, but still, it's interesting. This is the play. It's a, you know, cover two man. And it's worth noting that while, yes, the Chiefs could go for it, they're not in a we're definitely going for it situation here. Like if there's a sack, they probably kick a field goal and you're giving your offense one last chance. So this is definitely a big play. And again, the Niners who have tried everything seemingly at this point, they're going with a cover two man play. They're hoping they can man up and cover. And to be honest, I kind of understand the logic. I have to say though, I think this was a mistake. I think they should have brought one to safeties down and had him just watch Mahomes. Yes, there is the risk of a touchdown, but at this point, I think it's okay to play a little aggressive, but also not go full cover zero here. But anyway, watch how when Mahomes takes the snap, part of what I'm saying that is a bit results-oriented as, again, Rice was kind of open. He could have made that throw, but Mahomes, he doesn't care. He looks up and sees he can run for the first down. And like I said earlier, always better to just run for the first down if you can, because you know you're going to, you know, no drop passes, no defender coming in and making a play. But also watch how quick he is. I feel like I've never seen Mahomes run that fast before, right? He was flying, and he doesn't just pick up a first down on a third down and one. He picks up a ton more yards. They were at the 32-yard line. He gets them inside the 15. That's an explosive play right there on a quarterback scramble. And now, instead of, hey, maybe we can get a field goal, now they're inside the 15 and have a great chance at the touchdown. They would try to just hand it off on the next play. Uh, again, it was okay, but in, uh, you know, always wonder if somebody's is it just giving your offensive lineman a bit of a rest, right? Now they can go out and attack instead of having to pass protect. There, there's some truth there, but still, okay, three yards. That would bring up this one where it's going to be a zone coverage concept that the 49ers are in. You see, it's a you know a zone coverage that they're going to do. So okay, what are the uh, Chiefs now going to do to you know attack that? Well, watch how Mahomes drops back the pass, but it is a screen pass to Kelsey. It looks like maybe they were hoping they could get Kelsey the game-winning touchdown right here, although I don't think they really care. They just want to win, right? Uh, Kelsey makes a great move here, though, because again, second down and seven, right? You get a stop here. You're forcing the Chiefs to have to make another third down and medium play where they probably wouldn't go for it on fourth down if they don't convert. But look at what Kelsey's going to do. He sees that there's a defensive lineman who's kind of going towards the top of the screen, so instead, Kelsey shifts back, goes towards the bottom of the screen, and then puts his head down and picks up the, you know, a ton of yards in that play. He did pick up the first down as well, and that sets up a first down and goal. So instead of potentially getting tackled you know, at the line of scrimmage, uh, which, you know, maybe would have gained a couple yards, but still, he gets them the first down when they otherwise would have had a third down. And finally, that brings us to here, made a video breaking down this play, because again, it's a play we're going to be watching for decades to come, probably, uh, but here is the situation. So you have multiple tight ends, kind of running routes, Kelsey's in the area, he's going to beat a decoy here, though. Right there, McCole Hardman is in motion, and what they're doing is they're kind of, again, making it seem as though he's going to go in that direction. So as a defender who's, you know, playing the zone coverage in that area, you're naturally going to be like, okay, that's one less guy we have to worry about. And you're going to be more likely to focus on Kelsey. We'll watch how when Mahomes takes a snap, scrambles out, and no one picks up Hardman on this play. Just a brilliant play call by Andy Reid. As you see, Mahomes hits uh, Hardman. They are able to pick up the touchdown, and they win the Super Bowl. Just an incredible drive by the Kansas City Chiefs. There wasn't, there were moments, there were moments where they had to make plays, but every single time they had to make a play, they did. Like, and, you know, really, uh, while the 49ers had a couple of moments, it never felt like the Chiefs were on the ropes in this drive. It always felt the other way around, and they were able to pull it off. So, incredible job 
by, you know, what a season for them pulling this off. But yeah, that's what I think of all of this. Definitely stay tuned to this channel. Plenty more content about this Super Bowl coming up in the next few days. So be on the lookout for all of that. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.